Hello guys, I'm Sammy from Acrobat.net and today I'd like to introduce you my experimental method of hacking safe files on Android devices. Now this is an advanced tutorial so you're gonna have to have a rooted phone and you're gonna need to install system apps and so on so if you're not familiar with that yet please go to the tutorials linked in the description. Alright, so here's basically how it works. Obviously you have probably already tried to hack the game using something like a memory editor, Game Guardian, and so on. Um, links in the description, by the way. Now, if you want to get into the advanced stuff and edit some more things about the game, for example, the costs of things and so on, then editing a save file in an offline game is probably the way to go if you want to get into the nitty gritty of stuff. So, basically, the way we are going to do this is we're going to need a file explorer. I'm using Root Explorer, you can use whatever, like Root Explorer is a pretty good one. Obviously you need a rooted phone for this because it's Root Explorer and it needs system privileges, uh, root privileges to actually access the file system, okay? So please get Root Explorer, install this as a system app with root privileges and basically the place where all the game data, data is usually stored is in your root, you go to data and then you go to data again, so data slash data, and here basically you have all your app data, okay? The game I'm gonna use today to show you guys is this Mars Miner thingy here, it's just, it's driving me crazy, so I, I just wanted to hack it. I know it's gonna be, I'm gonna be able to hack this. Um, this will not necessarily work for everything because some save files are encrypted, and have a double checks and balances and it's really hard to get it going but for some like this one it's actually manageable and it's actually kind of fun to do as well like I had fun figuring out how to do this I really had fun so essentially you go to your apps um, folder usually every app has one here so in my case, that would be Miner, Jamie, Walton, whatever, Mars Miner, okay? So it's under data, data, and then you go to the app that you're trying to hack, the game you're trying to hack. In my case, Mars Miner. And here, save files can be anything. Like, they can be text files. Very often, however, they are databases. And the databases are really what you're trying to hack because they may, for example, contain data about what things cost, so you can cheat by lowering the cost for things, you know, you don't really need 9,999 money if everything just costs one dollar, right? So that is really where you want to get into at first, okay? If the, the, the databases aren't helping you, then you go, can go to shared prefs and so on, maybe even try to hack the cache data. You're gonna have to be inventive just a little bit because not one method applies to every game out there. What I can guarantee you is that in the data data folder under your app, there is data in offline games that you can actually hack to gain an advantage. That's what I can guarantee for like 99% of cases. Now for online games, this will obviously not work because in online games, this data is stored on the server, which cannot be hacked, all right? So how do you get into the database? Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is have a look at the database to see what is actually contained in it. Now, in this case, you just hold down on the minor database, for example. You click up here at the upper right corner and open with and then the SQL Lite database viewer. By the way, we now know that the database has a format that is called SQL Lite, which is important later on, right? So you can see here, um, it's very straightforward in this particular case. You have your click update where all the costs for things are. Obviously, you could edit the cost. You however, you can't edit it in this particular editor, right? Which sucks but I'm going to show you how to get around that later. And then obviously, really good to see there's a currency thingy, and that's what I'm going to be hacking today. I'm going to give, I'll be giving myself a lot of currency, and the CPC right here stands for um, basically cost per click or, you know, money per click that you're getting. And I'm just going to open this up again. And yeah, that's basically what I'm going to try and hack today. So we're going to try and hack this database, we're going to try to hack the money, and we're going to try to hack the CPC. And CPT would stand for 
basically money over time per time, right? So that's what we're going to try and do. How do you do it, however? Because, for example, this particular one, my, my, my basically root explorer doesn't have an option to edit databases. Now, the way you do that is you get the database onto a computer. I know it sucks you have to have a computer to do this, but I told you guys it's actually advanced tutorial. It may be possible that the, there is actual um, SQL light editing tools for Android, but I don't know about them. So I'm going to use a computer tool right now, okay? However, we could we could just go into the Play Store real quick and have a look whether there is an SQL light tool. SQL light, let's have a look. Yeah, there is an SQL light editor. So as you've seen there, I don't know why my king root is opening up. There are SQL light editors for Android that you could potentially use. There's one for free. Um, as I've said, this is an advanced tutorial. If you want to use one for Android, please do so. I'm going to use my computer because I'm on an emulator and you can do it too by just transferring stuff from your SD card onto your computer, right? So it's not that much of a big deal. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use this program right here, um, DB Browser for SQL Light. All you need is basically a database editor or browser for SQL Light format because most of the databases on Android devices are SQL Lite. And as you have seen previously right here, when, we're, when we went to, to, edit, to open up the, the, the database, it said SQL Lite, okay? So the way you do that in my root explorer, in root explorer in general, is basically you highlight the file and then you basically just copy it, right? Now I'm going to go to my pictures folder, which is basically, since I'm using an emulator right now, it's basically on my SD card. I can, I can just access my pictures folder. So I'm just going to paste that here. I'm going to go into my pictures folder and I'm going to refresh. Okay. And there we have the minor database, as you can see right here. Now I'm going to rename this to .db because that makes it easier for my program to recognize that it's actually a database, right? Because that's normal ending that, that, that databases have. So I'm going to open my database browser, DB browser for SQLite, if you want to Google it. I'm going to open a database. I'm going to go to my pictures folder, minor database. And here we have it. I'm going to go to browse data. Um, actually, I'm going to currency first and double clicking it, browse data, currency, and now here we have it, okay? This is the amount of currency I currently have. I'm going to put that to, I'm not going to go too high, it might crash the game, 999-9999. That seems about right. That's a bunch of money. And then um, CPC, so basically how much I get for one click, I'm going to set that to a hundred or a thousand. Let's just make it a thousand, whatever. All right. Actually, nine, 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 nine. And here a thousand. There we go. Apply. Ah, I forgot to apply. Apply. There we go. Apply. And now I can just actually just end this and it's going to ask me whether I want to save it. And I'm going to go for yes. And now all I basically do is I replace this database, the, the old database with the new database, right? So I go into my root explorer. You obviously, if you're doing this with a physical device, you put it onto your SD card or you connect your phone to your PC. You go into your storage and do it that way, right? As I've said, this is an advanced tutorial. I'm sorry that I can't go into much more detail. Now here, I'm going to take my minor database. Actually, I renamed it, so I'm going to Get out of this folder real quick just to refresh it pictures. And the minor database should be right here, .db. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to the original folder where we had it and I'm going to paste it. And then I need to rename it again. Rename up here. Um, where is it? Rename. And I'm going to take the ending .db away because I need to have the original file name. And there we go. All right, now all I basically do, I end 
uh, the minor game and I'm gonna restart it. And as you can see, I now have 9,999,999 ,999 monies. And once I click, I should get a thousand more. Yes, there we go. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, and so on. Anyways, as you can see, this works perfectly. You've seen me do it real time. I, I, don't, I, I won't cut in editing. I had one little silence that I have to cut out, but besides that, I'm not going to cut anything. So, as you can see, it works perfectly. I can now buy all the expensive drills, or at least some of them, because, yeah, let's just get some of those. Yeah, baby. There we go. As you can see, works perfectly. Now, it does take some ingenuity. It won't always be this easy. And obviously, you can't apply this concept to every game out there, right? Um, let's just go for an another one that I've played, that I've tried to get into, but I just haven't found a way to hack it yet. So basically, the way you would go about this is you got got to go through all the files and you gotta just see what's in there. For example, I opened up this one in a tower defense app that I, I had, and I opened it with a text editor. And I, I saw that it actually showed my premium currency at 100 right now, and I changed it, but it didn't apply. Like, the, the app kept rewriting the file. So you have to um, see what's happening once you change a file and then adapt your strategy based on that. I mean, that's hacking, like you have to adapt. There's not like a cookie cutter recipe. However, I haven't looked at their databases yet. Maybe their databases will be something I can hack. I'll, you have to see, like just open up all the files in text editors, in database viewers, see what data you can uncover, try to change something. There's not met one method that will apply to everything. And some single player games will have encryption and so on, and may only be hacked through, um, you know, memory editing tools like, for example, Game Guardian, which I recommend highly. And there's tutorials on this channel on how to use Game Guardian or SB Game Hacker and so on. So, yeah, um, the best th thing that I can recommend is use all your tools that you have and all your knowledge. And most games can be hacked in one way or another and even online games there's some little things that you can reach uh, using modded apks and uh, memory editing and um, file editing and so on anyways i hope this helps guys as i've said it's an advanced tutorial i'm sorry if you didn't understand this it's not meant to be understood by everyone just go through my past tutorials get to know your android device play with some emulators, and you'll be on a level where you can do this in no time. Thanks, you guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.